Hello and welcome to another little rant of mine where I talk about random stuff, random topics, or just whatever pops into my head. Today I'm joined by my good friend Craig. Hello Craig. Hello Nathan. We debated whether or not he'd say Nathaniel, I didn't like it. I don't want... My name's not Nathaniel. Today we're going to be doing some random questions like I did before. And while we're doing it, we're going to build this. Because I bought it today. You can see it on the other camera. And I want to build it. And I think it'd be fun with Craig. So random questions and Lego Technic. If you came for something else, then go somewhere else, because that's what's happening here. So, let's just get started by opening this up first. And it's already broken. They never open. You should probably look at the box of how to open it first before you did it. I don't think. Let me tell you how to open it. Oh, it's tired everywhere. Oh, uh, just in case you're wondering, this is the um, Lego Technic uh, tipper truck thing. It doesn't actually say what it is. Uh, its code is 42035, you can look that up, I guess. But that's it. And it's also got, uh, it's like a two in one, basically. Now, which one do you want to build first? That or that? Yeah, I like that one. This one looks pretty cool. Right, we're building this one first. So, enjoy. Um, right, the first question we're going to ask, uh, if you could choose an imaginary friend, who would you choose? Craig? Uh, I guess I'm a rather big fan of Helen Kini, so probably am. Seems like a pretty awesome guy to be around. How old would you? Of all choices, you go for Palantir. Not someone cool like David Tint, or Matt Smith, or any, cool. any oh. previous doctor. Yeah. Doctor Who is very cool. a big part of your life. It's a Palatini. Um, I am. Who would I go for? I would probably go for. What are you doing? Oh, no, I just I wanted to make that a wee bit there. Okay, I don't think that's how it goes. Um, right, my imaginary friend would probably be. I don't know. He's cool and does lots of stuff. You know, it's a lot of Tony stuff. Or Robert Downey Jr. Just Robert Downey Jr. He'd be awesome to have a friend, a friend with. He would be pretty cool. Though. He would be cool. Okay, fine. Let's put this probably in here. What? Nope. We did not coordinate this beforehand. This is going to be not. rough. Why have you gotten this part out? No, I don't know. I thought that looked like the part I needed to use, but never mind. You're using the wrong part still! What, what it's part a black! It? It's a black six, like that. You Lego noob! No! Right, next question. Um, right, okay. Do you like to dance or sing? Okay, actually, I'll amend that question. If you could only do one, what would you do? Well, if you were amazing at one, what one would it be? Uh, sing. Sing, always sing. Make more money? That and I like playing the guitar, so I guess you can do that. Well, I would probably want to, yeah, sing as well. Probably. Um, more money, more albums. When you're dancing, you can only really make a dance video or a tour, and I don't think you'd make as much money as a singer. And you just embarrass yourself, right? Yeah. Next question. Uh, would you want to know when you'll die? It's very interesting. Hmm, good piece of thing. Probably not. Are you clicked on? Did you have you done this bit? You've not even done this bit. Okay, this thing. Look, they're blue. Well, that's blue, where you get the blues. Blue, right. My good God! <laughs> this man cannot oh. do Lego. <laughs> if they're blue, you pink up the grey. Okay. <laughs> I thought I know they were colour coded. I'm good at sports. I don't do Lego. Lego's easy. It's for anyone. This is not scripted. He's doing terribly. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Okay. Um, right, I'll do this bit for a bit. You answer the question. And try and think about it as much as you can. Would you like to know when you die? It was your time to answer the question. I'll answer the, the question. What was your answer? I said no. Because. Well, because then it seems like a rather scheduled life. I don't know. I just wouldn't really. Well, that's a good way of putting it. Actually, a scheduled life. That's quite interesting. Um, maybe 
So I know that, um, like say if I knew I was going to die tomorrow, then I'd obviously do stuff. If I knew I was going to die 60 years in the future, I would then make sure that I've done everything I want to do. Because if you don't know when you're going to die, then you can go at any point in your life. Ugh. I'll do it in a few years. But if you know that you're not going to make it to then, you may not want to do that. I guess some people don't really want to set their life out that way. And then when it's approaching your time that you're going to die, you're just like... Don't know. No. Yeah. I don't think it'd be terrible. If this is loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next question is... Where did you grow up? I grew up in Kaluk. <laughs> But I was like, man! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since I was three, I spent, I've spent all my life in Quebec. Now I'm 20, so. So, where did you live before? Uh, I was born in Croydon, just outside London, but not just English. Just outside London? Not English. Cause then I moved up when I was three. So I am born in. I am born in Resinclair, so. Born in Quebec is a. No, sorry. Hospital. No, I wasn't. Born in yeah, I was born in. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, did you not make you it? You weren't even here, and you did you not make it to the hospital or something? Where is this piece? Okay, okay, next question. Do you play any sports? Well, we both play badminton. One of one of us is better than the other. Which one? <laughs> uh, you could probably guess. It's me. No, it's not. It's really no. Um, do you play any other sports? If um, MLG gaming counts, then yes. <laughs> Actually, it does. Um, Dota and stuff like that counts as an eSport. Electronic sport. It's still a sport. I don't count eSport as a sport. So. What would you count? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Um, do you... Hold oh. on. Um, right. Do you, do you play any other sports? That's a bit. Do you play in other sports? Uh, badminton, golf, pool, snooker, darts. Oh crap, I forgot about the pool and the snooker. <laughs> Wait, how often do you play darts? Oh, I have a dartboard in my room, so... Yeah, but... Not that I play it often, but I do play it. Uh, I guess you could go running, maybe? No, well, yeah, well, we've not been running in ages. You haven't been. Yeah, when was the last time you ran? It's not the point. <laughs> it's a kind of is. <laughs> Uh, nah, just a very sporty guy. Yes, indeed. I'm not. There has to be another one I do. <laughs> there has to be another one I do. I can't not just Football. I used to play. I used to play. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Hmm. If, if it looks like I'm enjoying this more, it's because I am. <laughs> Right, next question. I'll read this one now and ask you first. If you could choose your last meal, what would it be? <laughs> lime, <laughs> lime chicken and tarragon. It's my favourite meal. And that would be it. Let me guess. Oh, let me guess. Let me guess yours. Doritos. Oh, no, Doritos is not free. Yeah, you get the drills well, thing in. You're kind of almost With the spoons? Um, Mate, a wrap? There's kind of two that I'd have hey, to go for. Only one! Yes, I'll only leave one. them both, then I'll pick <laughs> from it. Right, okay. Nachos and chicken. Yeah, I, was, I knew that was... And <laughs> fajitas. So basically just Mexican food. Mexican food. Yeah. Yep. Um, my mum doesn't like Mexican food. Oh. I don't like your mum. <laughs> <laughs> she, um... We all like enchiladas and stuff like that. And that, that, that palate that my mum just doesn't seem to like it, and it's very annoying because we all want to eat more Mexican food. Nah, Mexican food's definitely my favourite. Uh, regional food. Probably, I'd possibly go for fajitas and nachos. <laughs> <laughs> or fajitas for nachos. Oh, what one? <laughs> Next question. If you were given three wishes, what would you wish for? Uh, I guess the power to heal would be one of them. Oh, okay. Just, I guess, it's for other people. Would it be Mr. Savior? Teleportation? Um, no, no, it's a surprise! We were talking about this earlier for ages. Um, the question at home, you can leave a comment if you wish. 
Um, what would you rather have? Telekinesis, or telekinetics, whatever it's called, or teleportation. Now, he wants That's for tele people that know what telekinesis actually, actually is. I think they probably know what it is. Um, I personally prefer telekinesis because I think you could do a lot more with it. Uh, he wants teleportation. Simply because he'll I think get telekinesis is awesome. Well, it is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Like, so is teleportation. I know you can do a lot more with telekinesis, but... Like teleportation, it's just. It, it makes the argument so cool. that um, you'd be able to get to uni quicker. <laughs> well, I wouldn't need to spend eleven pounds ten on a blooming train ticket every day. But with telekinesis, you can fly. You can make yourself fly. You could lift yourself up. You would. It would. It would. It, would, it wouldn't take as long as um, a train. It would take you longer than teleportation. Depending on how your teleportation works, if it's completely instant or if there's a mathematical constant involved. But. You could still, I could still fly. I, I'd be able to fly. That, that's, I'd want that. But anyway, I would love telekinesis. Yes, like that as well. But like that's taken by you, so that will probably be one of your wishes. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. okay so I've got one more wish left. So you go on healing, teleportation, and all the food in the world. I like how two of your wishes are powers, though. Yeah. I don't really know what other. Yeah. What else it could be? That's pretty cool. I can't think of another one. Yeah. <laughs> got, got any suggestions? Well, no, I need, I need to use my wishes to become a prince. <laughs> no Aladdin reference or whatsoever. Uh, well, keep going, you've still got. Yeah, no, it's hard, right? Uh, you, you can say your three and come back to me. Lady <laughs> <laughs> Bugger. Three wishes. Telekinesis. <laughs> For myself. That's a surprise. Um, world peace. Oh, that's a good one. Actually. Because everyone wants that, and everyone wants that, even though they may not think they do. But they all. Um, and I've just thought your teleportation would that allow you to go interstellar? In which case you could teleport to the planets, but if you teleport to the wrong planet, it could be blown up. So, the ability to breathe and travel at light speed without dying. It's quite a creative one. Anyway. I may have to take the yeah, it, <laughs> one as well. The what? <laughs> the world peace one. The world peace ones that you're, you're still in my... I'm sorry, but my first two were originals. Kinda. Kinda. I'm sorry I'm stealing the Lego, but... You're completely useless at it. Cheers. <laughs> okay. What's the... Uh, I know the answer to this one. Well, I don't. For his, his answer. What celebrity do you like to follow? I know your answer. Can you tell me? Palin Ratui. Obviously. He's like your biggest man crush. Just... Just because you asked. Um, <laughs> my biggest man crush is probably Benedict Cumberbatch. Ooh. He's not, he's not a gorgeous man. Like, completely gorgeous man. He's not a I'd possibly cheat on Paolo for Ben. <laughs> 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 okay. But, um, I don't know, he just seems like a little legit guy. I would, I think my follow is probably Zachary Levi. Because I think, all, in all honesty, he's probably a very decent guy. And, I mean, he sung, he was at a, a baseball game the other day where he sung, um, the national anthem. And he's he's quite he's not a, I don't think he's he's a really good actor and he can sing and he can do a lot of stuff and I don't think he's as um, shown off enough. I don't think he's I mean he's in the new heroes series so that might boost his popularity but a lot of people don't know who he is. So Zachary Levi for me. Oh my god <laughs> it's falling apart <laughs> oh. ah. What you don't realise is, I might have said this in a previous vlog, but every my because of the memory on this camera, I need to reset it every se every seven minutes. So I need to turn it off, put it onto my computer, and then start off again. And every time I step back down, this camera under here falls over. <laughs> Very annoying. Anyway, let's move on to the next question, which is, what is your favourite holiday? Which is probably. It was recent one because of a certain aspect. Which uh, is what? <laughs> uh, 
most recently I went to Turkey with my friends, so that's probably my favourite holiday I've been on. And I met my girlfriend on the last day. <laughs> so that's probably no, my favourite holiday. Uh, you can't say it like that, you met your girlfriend on the last no, day. Well, you knew her the entire time you were there. You'd met, you'd met her there and you he asked her out on the last day. You met your girlfriend on the last day. I asked out my that's girl. As if you, I asked my that's girl. as if you were on the holiday the entire time. You came across a, a strange <laughs> Spanish girl and went, Hello! <laughs> and then asked her out, which is not what happened. So say I asked out my girlfriend on the last day. Or asked my girlfriend on the last you day. You asked Shania out on the last day of your holiday. Should I mention the name? I was, was going to use that right there. What? What we just talked about. Because it's quite funny. Oh, right, okay. I can cut it at that exact okay. point before. Yeah, anyway, just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> right, wow. Uh, my favourite holiday, um, I don't know, I've been to Spain a few times over the course of 20 years, so I've not been at many places. Um, but my most recent one, I went with my pal and his family, and that was quite interesting. I enjoyed my time there. It's the first time I've been in an outside pool in eight, seven or eight years. And no, seven years. And so that was really good. And but the other times I went, it was more sort of action packed, filled with um, activities and stuff like that. So I can't really say one or the other because I both like them. Anyway, next nice question. What is your favourite home cooked dish? Now this is sort of going back to the um, your last meal kind of thing. Mm, this is an easy one for me. My mum's pasta that she makes. <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird kind of it's kind of creamy asked. tagatelle. It's just That's immense. It's, it's just amazing. amazing. It's so good. Well, mine's is the same answer as before. Lime chicken and tarragon. And if you don't know what that is, it's chicken, lime and tarragon. Yeah. Cream sauce, peas and a few other things. It's gorgeous. Use the cup. Anyway. Oh! This is an interesting question. Uh, Would you rather lose a, an arm or a leg? I guess my right arm. Because you're a lefty? Yeah. And I'd like to be able to walk. Yeah. I'd have to go with my left arm then. That was actually pretty easy. And I could still play badminton. So good. Life's good. Yeah. Although balance would be a bit off because yeah. it's actually quite a bit of weight your arm is. Like everything in your body is quite a bit of weight. Thigh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that wasn't. That wasn't too that much. Wasn't but they're a bit back. Alright, next question. Uh, what position do you usually sleep in? It's a bit weird. Uh, I guess when I'm trying to get to sleep, I lie on my left side because I like facing the wall when I'm trying to sleep and the wall on the left of me is closest. Um, I probably prefer sleeping with my with my back to the wall because I like the open space. So you're the office more, more, uh, more room to stretch. Right, just before we uh, go into the last question, we have now finished this! You can see it here. Uh, it's quite cool to be honest. Um, this is act, this is motion by a little thing up here. It's just a little. I don't even know what you call it. A shover. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's quite. I think it's quite cool. It's got rear um, steering. It's quite good. You can control it from up here. Actually, it's actually difficult to drive. And then it's because you're a bad driver. Cheers. Anyway, that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. And the last question is, uh, how what movies have you rewatched the most number of times? Now I'll, I'll say mine first because I keep looking at the wrong camera. Sorry. I say mine first because I think it's Kung Fu Panda One. My brother got that for Christmas, and I think we watched it on repeat for like three days. <laughs> so it might be that. Um, and if it's not that, then it will probably be. Avengers, I think. You? Yeah. Uh, mine's probably Forrest Gump. Favourite movie, favourite actor. Just love it. That's a good choice. 
Okay, so thank you very much for watching today's little rant of mine. I hope you've enjoyed it. We certainly had quite a fun time. Well, sure have. It would have. A lot of the time. It would have been good if you actually helped me build the thing, but... He jokes. <laughs> uh, well, literally, I put the cameras off for about half an hour to build this thing. It's actually quite surprisingly intricate in what it was. It's a Technic, so... It's quite... It's a, lot of a lot of thought is put into it. Um, well, like I said, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video!